Watch you guys, in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can delay or differ uh, Windows 10 updates. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So let's get on with it. So what you need to do here is you need to go down to the start button and then go to settings. Inside here we want to go to update and security. Click on this one here. So why would you want to sort of pause or differ updates or delay updates well sometimes there could be bugs with these updates and you might want to wait a little while before you download them and install them so delaying them is always a good policy in my opinion so click on advanced options here once you're inside here you've got a bunch of settings you can mess with and uh, the first one we're going to look at is update notifications you can see here show a notification uh, when your pc requires a restart to finish updating uh, so basically you can do that there and there's also one at the top there which says restart this device as soon as possible uh, when a restart is required to install an update I've got that turned to off and that's what I'd advise you to do so if this one is the one you want to leave on you can turn this on I've got this off because I don't want this system to restart automatically uh, without me knowing so I want it to give me plenty of notification this is the area where you can pause your updates. If you want to pause them, you can pause them here up to 35 days. So if you know there's a bug with a Windows update, you can pause them. If you don't want to differ them or you don't want to delay them, you can pause them for up to 35 days. Here is where you can choose uh, what updates you want to be installed up to from one day to 365 days. And basically what this is going to do is allow you to delay feature updates for up to 365 days so you can choose the number between 1 and 365 the next one is quality updates now you can go up to 30 days here these are quality updates including security improvements that can be differed by 0 to 30 days and that's basically how you can set up your um, pausing or differing of your Windows updates so if that's how you want to go about doing it then that's what I would do you can also allow downloads from other PCs and I don't recommend that you want to turn this feature off and also you've got here also some advanced options for downloading settings and limiting uh, some bandwidth and stuff like that if you want to go into there maybe if you're on a, a Wi-Fi connection or something like that so there's also you can see here pause updates for seven days in the in this area here which you can do as well and I also want to change the active hours when the updates can happen so this is another good area to mess around with especially if you don't want these updates just to start kicking in when you're really busy with some sort of project or something like that on your computer you may want to change these working hours for the updates to come down and this is always advisable if you're quite a busy person in say normal working hours so you can click on change and you've got the start time here and the end time and this is the time where you want it to set hours to let us know when you're typically uh, using this device so you can put in what hours you ever like here so you could put nine o'clock if you wanted to in the evening if that's when you're particularly using your computer and that's when they won't deliver these and the end time could be eight o'clock in the morning if you wanted them to download at that particular time then obviously you would change the hours to suit your needs also these settings will affect the restart time so for instance if you don't have these times set then what's going to happen is it will just restart when the update is installed and you don't want that because you could have some work already open in your PC or in the browser or something like that loads of tabs open and it will force a shutdown because it wants to install the updates and of course what's going to happen you'll lose your data or the work that you was working on at the time of the restart so what is the reason for altering these delivery options and delivery settings and differing an update uh, setting so why would you want to do this well there's many different reasons for it sometimes windows do release a, a version of uh, windows 10 and it is buggy and you may want to just pause and allow that uh, to get fixed and this could take a month or even three months and you may want to just set your different and uh, updates uh, for those particular times so it might be a three month delay you might want to go six months whatever it is that suits you you can set it to whatever you need to so that's basically going to be about it for this one it's christmas day i hope you're enjoying your christmas dinner and having some festive fun and having a few drinks i shall see you again for another video real soon my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day with your family bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet 
hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.